In the next 3 minutes, you will learn how to make amazing animated pie charts like this one. We first need to install SJ Visualizer, which is a Python library. This can be downloaded from the GitHub link below and installed using pip. To work with this library, we need to format our data in a certain way. The first column needs to be the dates, and then each subsequent column is the data category. Now we can start coding. Let's first create an empty pie file. After that, we need to import from SJ Visualizer, PyRays, the data handler, and the canvas. Here we define the name of the Excel file and we load it into the data handler object. We also need to define the number of frames of our animation. Now we can define the canvas. The canvas is the object to which we draw all the other items in the graph. To start the animation, we just need to call the play method on the canvas object. We haven't actually added anything to the canvas yet. So let's add a pie chart to the canvas. We can create the pie base object by passing in the canvas and the data frame that holds our data. We now need to add this as a subplot to our canvas. Now when we run this code, it will display a very simple animated pie chart. Please smash that like button. I've heard it's good for the YouTube algorithm. Let's add a title and let's add a time indicator at the bottom left. This still looks rather boring, so let's add custom colors and custom icons. You might have noticed that the script has created a new folder called assets. If we drop PNG images in this folder, the script will automatically pick up those images and display them in the graph. Now to add custom colors, we can create a dictionary that holds the RGB values for each of our data categories. Let's create a nice pink color for the Linux operating system. We also need to make sure to pass this color dictionary into our pie chart object. And there we have the nice pink slice of Linux. We can also reposition or change the width and the height of this chart. This gives us more flexibility when we are designing our visualization. And now we have a very cute pie chart. The nice thing of using this library is that you can mix and match the different chart types. In this example, we have a small pie chart and a larger bar race. Pie 